Right then, why the hell am I reviewing a couch? Well, first of all, technically it's not a couch, it's home cinema seating, but it's got some super cool features that I thought not only home cinema buffs, but also gamers would really appreciate. Uh, this is the Oslo Console Edition theater seating from Valencia. It's got 11,000 grade Nappa leather, which is pretty damn high end, so it's super soft, but surprisingly durable. Like, I've been using this seating for about three months now, and I play tug of war with my dog on it, like, all the time, and she really digs her nails in but there isn't a single scratch anywhere to be found. Uh, we've got the white diamond stitching. Not my favorite look for the sort of modern contempo vibe I'm going for in my living room, but some people really dig it. And you can customize the leather colors, but you'll have to give the company a bunch of lead time to custom make it, and the price goes up significantly. It'll arrive in three massive boxes with the top and bottom halves detached, so you can actually lug each piece into your living room separately. Otherwise, like, good luck getting everything through the door, let alone up a flight of stairs considering how bulky and heavy each each piece is. Why is it so heavy, you might ask? Because we've got a ton of metal and motors packed into this thing. Well, what are the motors for, Jared? Well, we've got some motorized headrest, lumbar support, and recline action. Although, I'd argue you'd have to have a pretty messed up back to need, like, any sort of lumbar adjustment with this back support, because it's puffed out so much already. Uh, anyways, the motors are super smooth and quiet, but one feature I really like is when you put the seating back to the original position, it resets all the adjustments, too. So, when you go to sit back down again, you don't have to deal with the headrest still in the forward most position, avoiding a nice swift punch to the back of the neck. Uh, all the motors are controlled with the control panel built into the armrest with a nice little blue LED highlight so you don't have to go poking around when the lights are dimmed. But see that little round push button here? This is for the floor LEDs. Now, disappointingly, it's only got the one color, which is surprising considering how long RGB LED light strips have been around for, but also how bloody cheap they've been for years. And that's all it is. Like, if you recline the seating, you can see this simple LED strip running along the bottom, just zip tied in. Now, I guess it's not the end of the world considering if you know what you're doing, you could probably replace it if it ever dies on you or maybe even replace it with an RGB strip. I don't know, but certainly not the best execution of light strips on furniture I've seen. There's also a USB port next to the controls for charging. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the charging output is because there's literally zero technical info on the product page. So let's just assume it's your typical old school 2.1 amp output. Not that big a deal, but most Android phones come with USB-C to USB-C charging cables these days, so. Uh, speaking of armrests, you've probably noticed the built-in cup holder. Yes, it lights up. Yes, it's big enough to fit most drink containers, but you won't be dropping your big-ass Nalgene water bottles in there or anything. Now, in front of the cup holder is this little metal doohickey. This is actually for the accessories. Really, dude? It's got accessories? Yup. And how many of you can say that about your couch? Uh, mine came with this little tray table that just drops into the spring-loaded accessory mount. Um, I mean, it sort of holds things, but I think it came from the factory misaligned or something because it's got this angle to it where things will just roll off of it. Anyways, there's also a tablet holder, a wine glass caddy, a cigar ashtray, a popcorn bowl, and a wireless phone charging mount, which I guess would also plug into the USB port. I don't know. They're kind of gimmicky to me, but my wife likes to use a tray table to work on her laptop while the seats recline, so that's cool. But if you're a gamer, I can see some pretty cool uses for it too. Now, behind the cup holder is the actual armrest portion, which, yes, is kind comfy, but check this out. It actually opens up to reveal a bloody storage hole. And it's deep too, man. Like this is where I normally stash the tray table, but I could also easily fit a tissue box, some lotion and wet wipes. Okay, so that's all cool and everything, but it's time to show you the real star of the show. Now, while you can recline the left and right side seats, you might've noticed the middle seat doesn't have any adjustment options. Well, that's because this is where the center console is hidden. So you flip up the headrest, grab the top of the backrest and pull, revealing a nice big table with cup holders and, wait for it, three power outlets and a couple more USB outputs for powering, I don't know, your game console, projector, laptop, I mean, whatever you can think of. Oh, uh, a little space heater would be pretty dope on a cold night. Uh, but that's not all. Looking up at the headrest, you'll see a couple of positionable reading lights you can use in case the person sitting on the other side doesn't want any light shining in their eyes while you're face deep in a good book. So you've got a built-in table with cup holders, power outlets, USB ports, reading lights, storage space, even more cup holders, accessories, super plush leather with overstuffed cushioning, and full adjustable seating. Like, come on. That's pretty damn sweet. So if you've got a dedicated gaming or cinema room, this might just be the icing on the cake you've been needing. Now, this seating is not cheap. Like I think they've got this model listed with an MSRP of $7,300, but currently has a sale price of $3,650. 
Here's the thing though. <laughs> it seems to me that this is one of those companies whose products are like permanently on sale. Like if you look through their site, I don't believe there's anything not on sale. Anyways, I'll have some links in the description if you're interested, but I think that's gonna do for this one. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Cheers. This is lit.